Hey guys, good morning. Believe it or not, it is not too hot out here. There's a little bit of humidity in the air and so um, I'm actually kind of enjoying it. So this morning, what I'm thinking about is creating content that really connects with your audience and how easy it is and how hard it is at the same time. I think figuring out how to do that, uh, I, I would love to say in the beginning of your entrepreneurial journey, but I'm six years in and I'm still figuring it out, <laughs> is uh, it's challenging. But when you do kind of start to figure it out, it's really not that hard either. So here's what I mean by that. For a long time, I've been creating content, putting out videos and um, you know, just uh, uh, visuals depending on the, the the, uh, social media platform that I'm working on and it's always felt like kind of like a big of a, a bit of a struggle and about probably four or five months ago I really shifted my mindset to start thinking about which I know it's like you always hear this right but what would I really really have found valuable just a couple of steps back in my journey so I'm six years into creating a business I'm one year into being a full-time entrepreneur and I thought, oh man, if there had been like a video, like a YouTube channel or some content about someone who was just a few steps ahead of me and what she was finding uh, valuable as she built her business, the things that she did that didn't work, I would have so loved that. And so I started the Entrepreneurial Coffee Chat um, on YouTube where every day I would fire up my um, my cell phone and just do a quick video on what I was thinking about that day, what had worked for me and what I had found challenging. And that really connected with so many people. And so I thought, okay, I'm going to continue to do that. Now, first I did it like, you know, every day of the week. And then I scaled it back to Monday through Friday. And, um, and then I, it's no retakes. So it's exactly what you see right here, right? I, I start to share about just my journey. The other thing is, um, you know not being afraid to share the journey so i think in the past when i tried to create content i wanted it really polished and i wanted it to look like i'm the expert right well when it comes to entrepreneurial journeys i don't know who's really an expert because we're all figuring it out as we go and it's okay to show the journey it really helps people connect because it's like oh you know this person's just like me they're just figuring it out so whatever your business is, don't be afraid to show a little bit of the backstory and what that journey looks and feels like and where you're at, you know, what's working, what's not working, because that's how you really connect with people. I think the other thing is don't worry about being perfect. Like these videos are not perfect. <laughs> um, the, if you just really uh, are, are vulnerable and you just share where you're at and it, it really brings a different kind of energy to the content that you're creating. When it comes to video, I think a lot of people shy away from it. Um, I will tell you, just get on camera and talk to the camera like you're talking to your friend or a colleague or someone who is an entrepreneur along with you. And just don't, don't get too caught up in the camera's rolling or it's gotta be perfect and just post what you've got. You'll get better and better at it over time. Um, I'm also a big believer in not creating content just for the sake of a schedule. I mean, I know it's important to be on a schedule, but at the same time, if you're just, you know, putting something out there because today's the day you said you'd do it, not terribly valuable either. Um, I was doing these videos Monday through, well, every day, seven days a week. And then I moved to Monday through Friday. And recently I've moved to committing to posting videos every week. Some weeks, it might be Monday through Friday. Other weeks, there may be two videos. If I've got something to share, I'll share it. If I don't, well, then we'll have less videos that week and that's okay too. Um, I think another tool that I would really recommend that you look into is Canva. So it's C-A-N-V-A dot com. It's a great way to create beautiful visual content. There's a free version and there's a paid version. And the paid version is super reasonable. It's like, I think it's like $99 a year, maybe just over $100 a year. But you get so much, whichever option you decide to go with. Um, in the paid version, you get some premium images, which are very nice. And you can also, create a brand template so you can pull your brand colors in super easily. And they have great templates on whether you do the free or the paid version. 
uh, and it it right away will give you some templates for Facebook Instagram you know YouTube whatever it is that you you're wanting to share whichever social media platform and uh, yeah it's just a very very cool tool so check out canva.com think about where you're at in your journey and just if you were a few steps back what would you have found valuable and share that because that is the thing that is really going to connect with your audience. Hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.